Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet a, another video. If you are into learning filmmaking tips and tricks, learning DaVinci Resolve, and having a look at some pretty cool gear, this channel might be something for you, and I would recommend you to subscribe. Okay, so in this video, we're going to have a look at AFX Transition Pack, and it is a very powerful pack. It is maybe one of the most advanced packs I have ever tried, and it doesn't have a lot of transitions built in. As a matter of fact, there's only eight types, but because they are so customizable, they will actually surprise you quite a bit, I do believe. So again, I'll show you how to import those into DaVinci Resolve, how to work with them and show you the different things they can do. And then I'll show you an edit I just did for this video where I actually just show you how they look. So without further ado, let's go to that video. Okay, so first off, I'll just show you quickly how to install your FX. So you have to go into the program files, into the Blackmagic Design, into the Resolve folder on your computer, into Templates, and then go into Edit, and go into Transitions. And here we have all the different transitions, and I'm just going to open up the transition pack. Uh, there is one for the free version of Resolve and also one for the studio version. I'm using the studio version, so I'm going to copy paste all of those settings in to that folder, like so. And I'm just going to say yes to this. And then next time we open up DaVinci Resolve, they will be right in there. So here we are in Resolve. Let's go to the effects library go down to the video transitions and then down at the bottom we have our fusion transitions and there is eight of these transitions and you might not think that that is a lot of transitions but the it's really kind of advanced so let's just jump into this instead so here i have a little bit of an edit so let's go again to the effects library into our transitions and uh, let's just take our camera move transition. I'm just going to add that in between two clips here. Just going to zoom in. And as you see, I have those right here. And here I can actually change the type so I can go from right, like I'm doing here. And I can go from the left, as you see right here. I can go up. Down. Bottom left. You have so many options here with the the movement itself. And this is what I've seen in in some packs that they will have a setting for each, but here you have actually have one setting for the camera move and you can just adjust that in the transition type, which is quite nice. And also you can change the speed, the movements, you can add in lens distortion if you want that, like you see right here. And then of course you have uh, the strength of that and the position of that. It's really customizable actually. Like you see right here, just take a little effort on and off here so you can see the difference. Then you also have a motion blur you can add in you can change the quality of that motion blur. It, it is really a lot of customization built into these transitions. And then we have other settings like glow, intensity, we can do camera shakes. So some of these settings might not be in the version if you're using the free version, but I am using the studio version, so I have all of these great things I can customize. There we go. And also we can just, if we want the clips or the transitions to be longer, we can just drag them longer and it will just do that automatically. So this really fits any frame rates, any anything, any length you want it to be. 
Okay, reset that. So that's uh, just one of the types here. I'm just going to remove that one and then I'm going to take the camera roll. As we see right here, I'm just going to drag that on. And uh, again, we have a lot of settings we can change. You see here. Again, we can go vertical or horizontal. We can change a lot of small things. Again, motion blur, other settings. We can add on film damage for, on this one, as for instance. So we'll just do that. And then we could, again, customize that how we wanted it to be. And we can add in camera shake as well. Again, it's uh, it, it feels like there is n nothing you can't do in this thing. You can only your imagination will be the limit. So you might not see it on this computer because I am recording. So I'm just going to go frame by frame here. And you can actually see that it will add in the old film look as well. The film damage. Pretty nice. Okay, so let's uh, just remove this transition. And let's take the camera spin. And then we can change that from a, a slow spin to a quick spin or whatever we want. Again, there is so many settings in here. Okay, we'll change it to quick spin and then you will see it'll spin quickly. Like so. Okay, let's remove this one and then let's take the camera zoom. And um, of course that will just zoom in as it's supposed to, but we have inverted zoom, bouncy zoom, zoom center on off. Again, blur settings, we can change a lot of things again here. The, the glow intensity, distortion strength, you name it. Again, again, we can add in a camera shake on and off. Let's just remove this one and let's go to the flash thing here. And there we have that little effect here. And again, we can change that from slow to fast. We can change the glow intensity, the blur. I mean, there is a lot of customization in this pack. I'm really blown away by this. So let's take a look at the glass wipe here. Again, my computer is struggling a bit because I am doing a screen recording at the same time. And this is this glass wipe effect where there's a transition in. Pretty cool. Okay, and if we look into the things we can change here again, there is a lot of options. We can change the angle, the lint reflections, reflection colors. Again, there's just so much customization in this pack. Quite amazed by it, actually. So I'm not going to do too much about this. I'm just going to delete that. And we are going to take the shape spin here. Again, just like that. Okay, and then we can change that from circle to triangle to rectangle. Uh, again, invert the transition, changing the size angles and then do some sh uh, shadows as well. So let's remove that and then let's just take the stripe wipe, which is the last one. Like that. Nice little effect here. And again, Again, full with different things to customize. A lot of things here to work with.
So that was a look at the transition pack from AFX and I must admit, as you saw from the video, I am quite amazed by the power of this pack. So just here at the end of this video, it's time to just do a little bit of a disclaimer, of course, because the pack were sent to me and I were asked to try it out. But whatever I am saying about the pack is my own opinion and what I feel about it. But again, I do love this pack and for the money you're paying for it, it is quite a lot of value. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.